So this is the main website that you'll see. Um, you can do the Start Now for free up here, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, one of the nicest things about Starter and about Preservica in general is that you can just do this on a browser. There's no need to download anything. You can ingest and manage your files all through the browser. Um, so I'll go ahead and log in. All right, and here we are. So welcome to Starter. This is the Explorer, this page up here. Um, and this is what you'll see every time you log in. You're gonna find your top level collections, any individual assets that you may have as well. Um, along the top, you have your search bar. Um, you have a link to our community hub, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, we have the upload and preserve window, which this will pop up automatically upon ingest. You'll see that. Um, and then you can access your user settings up here as well. Um, here you can figure out how to sort your assets. If you want to do it by ingest date, you can do that. If you want it by title, you can do file size as well. Um, you can also change how you're viewing your assets. So you can view them. Um, here they're cards. You can view them as a list, which just gives a little bit more information on the folders. So you can see the ingest date on them, what the type is, and it'll give you a little bit more information there as well. I like to view them as cards because it's nice and easy. The thumbnails are large, so you can kind of get to your collections really quick. Um, and the thumbnails are something you can change too. If you have a collection uploaded, you can always right click on it and upload a new thumbnail for it so that you have it nice and organized just the way you want it. Um, so the last feature over here is the add button. Um, so that's gonna be your main point of ingest. So you can add um, single files or zip folders. You can upload a folder together. You can create a new folder or you can upload a folder that includes metadata using one of the templates. And so we'll go into a little bit of detail about all of these individually. Um, in the top left corner, you can find the menu. Um, you can collapse this as needed if you don't want it, if it's getting in your way. Um, but this is gonna show you that folder structure as well as the recycling bin. Um, so you can use the recycling bin here. You can empty it um, and you can see any assets that are in there. Um, they're going to stay in there for 90 days if you send something to the recycle bin. So it won't automatically delete. If you do want to get rid of it, you can click that empty button and it will permanently delete the files. Also over here, you have your dashboard. Um, so this is going to show you some more detailed up to the minute information about your collection. Um, so you can see how much storage is being used, um, your login information, you can view the resource library, and another button for your portal over here as well. And then it'll also show you um, the different formats in here that you have in your collection. So I mostly have photos in mine, but it'll give you information about how many of each file type you have in there. And then the last thing is the portal access. So my portal is customized, which is a Starter Plus feature. Um, but every starter account has full access to a public portal. It was actually the one that Shelby showed um, in the video. Um, that's a free version of the portal. Um, my version is actually a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, we will be upgrading the portal to have this new look and feel, and it will also add advanced search capability, and that's coming a little bit later this year. Um, but we will come back to this and talk a little bit more about public access. All right, so back to the Explorer. This is where you're gonna be spending most of your time working with collections and metadata. Um, and I wanna show you a couple of things here. We'll do a simple ingest first. And um, I've kind of created a file for that here, or a folder for that here. Um, and we're gonna pull up a word perfect file. And I am just gonna drag and drop in here. It's that simple. And so it's doing the upload and it's going to move over to preserving. So this is all of that advanced, you know, 
technical features that we talked about, that actual digital preservation is happening right here. So it's going through fixity checks, checksums, virus checks. They're all taking place right here, checking for duplicates. Um, and this is, it's happening so fast. <laughs> um, it's stuff that if you had to do it manually, it would take a long time. Um, so now it's finished with that. There are going to be a few things happening behind the scenes still. Um, but you can see, so this is a word perfect file. I would not be able to open this on my computer, but now that it's uploaded, we can click on it. And we can see that we can access it. So now this file that wasn't readable before is readable. Um, and you can see um, it will generate a thumbnail here as well. Again, you can change that if you don't like what it comes up with. Um, but you can take a look at um, metadata here if you wanted to add metadata on an individual level. Um, you could choose Dublin Core or Mods, um, and you can add that. Um, you can also see the preservation history. Um, so this is still uh, working in the background to kind of create another original copy that's in a readable format. Um, but the, it does save your true original here. This is the WordPerfect file that I uploaded. Um, and if we were to go ahead and make this, um, close up this. If we were to go ahead and make this public, we can take a look at the preservation history again. It's going to take a second for it to go through. And it's probably a little slower because I imagine some of you are actually looking through <laughs> and working on Starter yourselves. So it's probably a little congested. Here we go. Um, so you can see information um, here that we've transformed it into the ODT. This is what I was talking about earlier. It changes it into a readable current format. Um, and it will, in a moment, it will create a, an additional um, access representation in PDF format. So once that's created, that's how it's going to be viewable for the public um, because the ODT is great for preservation and it's a current format but the PDF is going to be better for accessibility and viewing in a browser. Um, so that's what you'll see in the portal. And again, all of this happens so fast, and it's something that would have taken a lot of time, and especially just for one object, it's a lot of work. So it's really great to be able to just get in and ingest very quickly.